We're tracking a winter storm here in the eastern half of the country. It will be uh, bringing with it some heavy snow and some ice, unfortunately, having some big impacts on traveling around uh, the region here today. And then the southwest will have some fire weather concerns out near Los Angeles. Well, we still have some winter weather advisories across parts of the middle Mississippi Valley, but starting to end around midday in the Ohio Valley. And then as you can see, winter storm warnings all the way up into the northern New England states. Again, heavy snow within these areas and some icing. We'll start off with the snow fall. Anywhere you see the pinks and purples, that's generally around 6 to 10 inches of snow. We may have some ice that are 12-inch tallies within these spots. Even some snow as you get along the coast, a little bit closer to the coastline, but there is also going to be some icing, and uh, some spots here could see up to a couple of tenths of an inch, maybe even up to a quarter of an inch. So big travel impacts. Don't be surprised if we have some power outages as the uh, ice weights down the tree limbs and uh, potentially even brings down some of those tree limbs on power lines. On the southern side, of that, we're actually going to be dealing with some rain and possibly even some thunder. So again, it uh, uh, doesn't look like a, a terrible amount of thunder potential today, but definitely watching the thunder chance and some heavy rain chances still kind of staying with us. As we head into the Midwest, another snowy swath developing from about the Dakotas into the uh, Great Lakes region. Chicago may be seeing another three to six inches of snow by the end of the weekend or at least into the weekend. And then as we head back to the West, you can see some winter storm watches posted back across Montana, and that's where we're going to have another surge of heavy snowfall. So again, within some of the same areas that have had some heavy snow picking up more. Now down to the south, as I mentioned, some heavy uh, rainfall, maybe some one to two plus inch tallies there. And then uh, fire weather concerns remain elevated today in southwestern California, even some red flag warnings just northwest of Los Angeles. Now the central part of the country in the wake of that winter storm, quite chilly. In fact, today in Texas, we're about 20 degrees below average.